In this video, you're going to learn how to find the n behavior of polynomials. So we're going to determine whether the graph is going up to the right or down to the right or up to the left or down to the left. And we're also going to talk about how to describe that and write it in the proper notation. So let's dive into this video. We're going to go through a few examples together. I'll have some that you can practice on your own for practice. Let's take a look at this first example. So you're already familiar with polynomials, and what you want to do is you want to make sure you write that polynomial in what we call descending order or standard form. So you want to start out with the highest power term, then the next highest power, and all the way down to the constant. Now what we're mainly concerned with here is this first term, okay, this largest power term. And what you want to do is you want to look at the leading coefficient, the number that comes right in front of that variable here for this first term. Now if it's positive, that tells us that the graph is going to go up to the right. If it's negative, that tells us that the graph is going to go down to the right. Now you might be saying, Mario, why is that? Well, what happens is, as you go to the right here on the x-axis, say for example, x is 10 or 100 or 1,000, as x gets larger and larger, meaning as you go to the right, this term right here is going to grow much faster than this term or this term. So for example, let's say you put in uh, x equals 10. 10 cubed is 1,000 times 5 is 5,000, which is quite a large number. Even if we put 10 in here, this is only minus 200 and then plus 7. See how those numbers are quite a bit smaller? And if you want to do an even larger number, go ahead and try x as 1,000. And you'll see that this is the most influential term, and that's why the leading coefficient, if it's positive up to the right, negative will make it go down to the right. Now what about the left end behavior, meaning you're going to the left end of the graph? Well, here is where we look at the exponent, the highest power here. So if this is an odd degree, then it's going to go the opposite direction from the right end behavior. If it's an even degree, it's going to go the same direction as the right end behavior. Now you might be saying, Mario, well, why is that? Well, think of just like an easy uh, example that you're already familiar with, like f of x equals x squared. Notice how these are both going up to the right, whereas when you look at like x cubed, One's going up to the right, one's going down to the left, they're going the opposite directions. Now, if this was a negative x squared, the graph would be opening down, but they would be both be going down. So even degree, see they're gonna be the same direction. Odd degree, like if this was negative x cubed, it'd be going down to the right, but then it'd be going up to the left. So again, the degree, the power, tells us whether it's gonna be the same if it's even, or if it's odd, it's gonna be the opposite direction. So now let's talk about the notation. So you can write it this way, and this is usually how they write it in Algebra 2 or even pre-calculus. And if you're in calculus, this is a notation. We're going to use this limit notation. So here it says, as x approaches infinity, that means as you're going to the right, f of x, that refers to the y values, are approaching blank. Well, you can see the y values are going up to positive infinity, or you could just write infinity. As x approaches negative infinity, that means to the left, f of x or the y values are going down, down, down to negative infinity. Or you can do the limit notation. The limit as x approaches infinity, meaning as you're going to the right, f of x or the y values go to infinity, or you could say positive infinity. And the limit as x approaches negative infinity, you're going to the left, f of x or the y values are going down, down, down to negative infinity. So you can see the same answer, just a different way of writing it. Now, one little caveat or um, warning is that oftentimes teachers or on tests, they'll actually put the left end behavior first. Because, you know, when you read this graph, you're basically reading from left to right like this. And so they'll oftentimes put this first. Now, I always like to look at the right end behavior first and then the left end behavior. So you could do them in the opposite order, but just kind of be cognizant of what you're doing. Let's take a look at a number, another example, number two. Now, notice I put some notes here if you want to write these down or take a screenshot. A is our, our leading coefficient. Greater than zero, that means positive. You're up to the right. If the leading coefficient, A sub 1, is less than zero, that tells us we're going down to the right. That means it's negative. Even, it's the same direction to the left as, as it is to the right. And if it's odd, it's the opposite. So just some little notes there for you. But for number two, what do you think for this one? Is it going up to the right or down to the right? Well, you can see the leading coefficient is negative, so that tells us that it's gonna be going down to the right. Okay, even degree, see it's a fourth degree, is it going up to the left or down to the left? Even degree tells us it's gonna be the same way, so down to the left. So in this case, when we write our notation, as x approaches infinity, f of x, or the y values, are going down to 
negative infinity. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x or the y values are approaching also negative infinity. <clears throat> or if you're doing your limit notation, the limit as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity, or the limit as x approaches negative infinity, the y values are approaching negative infinity. Let's take a look at a few more examples. Okay, what do you think for number three and four? How would you do these ones? So for number three, we have f of x equals x to the eighth minus two x to the fifth plus four. Now remember, these guys are like, to throw us off a little bit, these really don't have any influence on the end behavior. They're gonna come into play when we go to find our, our zeros and the shape of our graph, et cetera, like that. But for now, just talking about the right end behavior and the left end behavior, we're gonna be using what's called the leading coefficient test, right? And we talked about that already. So in this case, you can see the leading coefficient is actually understood to be a one and it's positive. So that tells us it's gonna go up to the right. The degree is an eighth degree. That's an even number. That tells us it's also gonna go up to the left. So when we write our notation, as x approaches infinity, meaning as x is getting bigger and bigger, f of x, or the y values, are going up towards positive infinity. Whereas as x approaches negative infinity, we're going to the left, f of x, or the y values, are going up, 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 also to positive infinity. Now, if we wanna use the limit notation, limit as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches infinity, or positive infinity, and the limit as x approaches negative infinity, f of x is also approaching positive infinity. Okay, so what do you think for number four? f of x equals negative 10 x to the seventh power minus three x squared plus five. What do you think on that one? Is it going up to the right, down to the right, up to the left, down to the left? Well, if you forget everything about this entire video, okay, you can always go back to that technique I showed you at the beginning. You could pick a number for x, and it doesn't matter what number it is. You could pick a 10, 100, 1,000. You could even just put in positive one. If I put in one here, one to the seventh power is one, right? <laughs> Times a negative 10 is gonna be negative 10. So you can see where it's going down, right? Or if you're not convinced by that, put in 10. 10 to the seventh power is how much? Uh, like 10 million, right? So then times a negative 10, that's like negative 100 million. You're way down here, right? And then if you put in a negative 10, okay, so you're over here to the left, negative 10 to the seventh power. Now a negative 10 seven times, that's still gonna be a negative number, times this negative is gonna make it a very large positive number. So that's it, you've got it. If you don't like that method, you could say, all right, leading coefficient tells me about the right end behavior, it's negative, so I'm going down to negative infinity. And then because it's an odd degree, I think odd opposite, like O for odd, O for opposite, odd opposite. So that's going to positive infinity. And same thing here, the limit, if you want the limit notation as X approaches infinity, you're going to the right. The Y values are going down to negative infinity. However, as you're going to the left towards negative infinity, uh, the Y values are going up towards positive infinity. Let's take a look at two more examples. See if you can do these on your own. Okay, take out a sheet of paper. See if you can pause the video and do these last two examples on your own. And we'll go through them together. See if you can get these right. So for number five, we have f of x equals negative one half x to the sixth plus x cubed minus two. And what do you think for this one? Is it going up to the right or down to the right? Leading coefficients negative means we're going down to the right. Even degree, six is even, right? Same direction to the left. So that means these are both gonna be negative infinity, left end behavior and right end behavior. Just remember the, as X approaches infinity, that's talking about the right end behavior. Negative infinity is talking about the left end behavior. Okay, how about for number six? F of X equals eight X to the fifth minus two X to the fourth plus three X squared plus one. What do you think on this one? Up to the right or down to the right? Up to the left or down to the left? What do you think? Well, leading coefficient's positive. That means it's gonna go up towards positive infinity to the right. Leading coefficient always tells us about the right end behavior. Odd degree, that exponent is five. Odd means it's gonna go the opposite direction to the left. So let's do our notation here. As x approaches infinity, meaning as we're going to the right, f of x, the y values are going up to positive infinity. Or if you're doing the limit notation, the limit as x approaches infinity, f of x or the y values are going up towards positive infinity. Now, if you do limit it, or as X approaches negative infinity, you're going to the left, F of X or the Y values are going down, down, down towards negative infinity, or the limit notation, the limit as X approaches negative infinity, 
the y values are going down to negative infinity. So let me put a video right there on the screen that you can go to talking more about how to actually get a better graph here. So we're going to talk about how to find like the shape of the graph and the end behavior and the x-intercepts and dive a little bit more into graphing polynomials. So I put a video right there for you. Follow me over to that video and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you there.